In today's video, we will be painting a pre-painted canvas from the acrylic painting kit for kids, paint by numbers, by Craft Evolved. The link will be in the description below. At first, Take a moment and figure out which colors you will be using on this canvas. Before I put any paint on the canvas, I like to spray the canvas with clear water. And then I do the same with the palette. It keeps the acrylic paint wet longer and slows down the drying process. Start with the colors that are covering the largest areas on the canvas. In this case, it is the sky represented by number two, which is orange color. The majority of the land is brown, acrylic paint number 11, and the body of the leopard is color 1, which is yellow. As a general rule, you want to paint from top to the bottom, then you want to move from left to right if you are right-handed, if you are left-handed from right to left, so you don't smear the paint with your palm during the painting process. It is a good practice to start with larger areas and then slowly move to the details, not the other way around. That means you should start painting the sky and then the ground. The rest of the canvas is up to you. As I already gave you a hint, acrylic paints dry very quickly and for that reason you will see me in my videos spraying water on my palette a couple of times during one painting session. Another thing I would like to point out is do not place too much paint on a palette. The acrylic paint is very rich in pigment and if you follow along with me, a small amount of paint should last you for a very long time. Rather start with a small amount and then add more as you need instead of squeezing from the bottle a lot of paint at once just to see it dry unused. These are the basic rules which I may or may not mention in my other instruction videos. For that reason, you should watch these painting instruction videos in a specific order. The name of the video has a number that indicates the order in the video series. Feel free to watch any video you want in any order, but I'm trying to pass you the information in chronological order and in my opinion, watching the videos in a specific order would be the most beneficial for beginning artists who are starting with acrylic painting for the very first time. Thank you. 
we will be painting six canvases together so that gives us enough time to cover the acrylic painting basics properly. We will be painting six canvases together so that gives us enough time to cover the acrylic painting basics properly. But let's not go into too many technical details from the beginning. It can be overwhelming and create pressure on you. We are just starting and you will figure out these things on your own. By laying out too many rules, you may be afraid to experiment, which is the last thing I want you to do. The most important thing is that you will enjoy the painting process. You should find it as a relaxing activity you will be looking forward to. As mentioned, this kit comes with six pre-painted canvases. By the time you will finish the last one, you will have a great amount of experience and I hope it will have a long-lasting effect on you as it had on me after I took my very first painting class when I was 8 years old. A feeling for art has been with me ever since and I have never looked at the world the same way again. And I really believe it will have the same effect on you. If you have any questions or just want to leave me a message, please leave me a comment below.
and this painting is about to be finished. The white clouds don't need to be overpainted with white color, I'm just trying to cover the number 12. I have to say, uh, this canvas is one of my most favorite ones from the whole series. The color vibrations are amazing. To me, this canvas is the breaking point where a young artist will be forced to think about the unusual color variations and will try to figure out how is it possible it looks so beautiful. If you are painting without paint by numbers instructions, most likely you would choose different colors. However, that's why paint by numbers, especially for young artists, is so beneficial. It forces them to use colors they would not normally choose, opening their experience to be able to take their imagination to the next level. Don't get stuck with an idea that a tree is always green and a hill is always gray. No, nature is very colorful. Sometimes it is very difficult to translate our impressions of nature onto a canvas, but after some practice you will start experimenting and will start making bolder decisions on what colors to use. This canvas is an excellent example of how not-so-standard color combinations can create such a beautiful atmosphere of a savanna in Africa right before the sun goes down and I hope you have enjoyed this painting as much as I did. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.